A 200 watt solar panel takes 8 hours to charge 12.8 volt 100 amp hour life PO4 battery, and 3 to 4 hour to charge 12 volt 100 amp hour lead acid battery under ideal charging conditions such as good sunlight, no shading, no dust and dirt, and proper positioning of the panel. Watch this video to the end to get all the details including what panel size is ideal for 100 amp hour life PO4 battery. To calculate the number of hours the panel will take to charge the battery bank, we will consider Battery capacity and energy rating Battery capacity is 100 amp hours. We can get the energy storage capability by multiplying battery voltage by its capacity. For life PO for the energy rating is 1280 watt hours, and for lead acid, 1200 watt hours. The amount of energy to replenish with the 200 watt solar panel is 1280 watt hours for lithium, and 600 watt hours for lead acid. A lead acid battery has a 50% depth of drain, which means you can safely use 50% of energy from a fully charged battery. So, 50% of 1200 watt hours is 600 watt hours. Solar panel efficiency. A good solar panel can harness about 20% of sunlight to deliver 80% performance during peak sun hours. The average number of peak sun hours is 5 to 6 hours. Though this can vary depending on location. Now, let's see how long it will take for the solar panel to fully charge the battery beginning with lithium battery. The amount of battery energy to replenish with a 200 watt solar panel is 1280 watt hours. If we factor in solar panel efficiency of 80% and 0.8 ratio, dividing 1280 watts hours by 0.8, we get 1600 watt hours. For the charging time, we divide 1600 by 200 to get 8 hours and the number of hours the 200 watt solar panel will take to charge the battery bank of 12.8 volt 100 amp hours under ideal conditions. If we work with 5 hours of peak sunlight per day, it will take 1 and half to 2 days to get full charge. For sustainability, you want to get your battery fully charged under peak sunlight hours per day. Here is a simple calculation of the panel size for that. 1600 watt hours divided by 5 hours of peak sunlight equals 330 watts. A 330 watt solar panel comes in 24 volts. So, you have to pair it with a good MPPT charge controller. On the other hand, if you want to use a PWM charge controller, you will need 380 watts to charge your battery in 5 hours. A 380 watt solar panel isn't available in 12 volts. So, you have to get two 180 watt solar panels and wire them in parallel for compatibility with a 12 volt PWM charge controller. Now let's turn our attention to the calculation for lead acid. We want to replenish battery energy of 600 watt hours since we only use 50% of our battery charge. Thus, we divide 600 by panel's efficiency of 0.8 to get 750. For the charging time, we divide 750 by 200 to get 3.75, approximately 4 hours. This falls under the average number of peak sunlight hours for most locations. Keep in mind, these calculations assume good sunlight, no shading, and optimal panel placement. In real-world conditions, it might take a little longer depending on the weather, panel angle, and other factors. Solar power can be a bit unpredictable, so always plan for a little extra time. I hope this video helped clarify how long it would take to charge your battery with a solar panel. If you have any questions or need more details, drop a comment below. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on future content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.